the UVI Marine Science Center. Tell me a bit about your function here with the Marine Biology Center and some of the students that you take out on the boat and their observations in the ocean as part of the classroom experience. Well here at UVI we're extremely lucky and have a unique situation that we have beautiful ocean and coral reefs all around us. So we offer diving classes to undergraduates where they can actually learn how to scuba dive and get certified. Uh, with this group here, I've been teaching them all semester. They're, they finished their certification and now what we're doing is learning uh, identification of marine uh, animals. We learn fish for a week, we learn invertebrates for a week, and then coral reefs, mainly just identifying them right now. What have some of the students who've come through this exchange program said about the experience of having the Caribbean Ocean as a classroom? Well, I don't know. If it was me and I was coming down here, I'd want to be in the water. We have some incredible water, incredible classroom underwater to learn, to see it on the video or to see slides is one thing, but to actually get in there with the water and see a live shark or the live coral or all the millions of live fish that we see uh, every semester is an invaluable experience and I think it's great. It's a full semester class that we have here. So you start out in the classroom uh, learning the theory of diving and then um, we get out in the shallow water and we have about four lessons in the shallow water learning drills. In the states they would do that in a swimming pool but here we do it at the beach where it's really calm um, and then it's a much easier transition when we're getting to the open water dives like these guys just did. Um, the reason why I joined the Marine Biology program is because one day I looked around and I said, wow, this is really paradise. So I said to myself, what better way to impact my community um, is there than trying to preserve this paradise? So that's one of the reasons why I decided to switch from biology to marine biology. Most uh, marine science facilities aren't directly uh, on the reef. So essentially we're about 100 yards from the reef, so we can do marine research that um, other people wouldn't have the opportunity to just because of our access. We can access them daily, weekly, monthly, whereas other uh, marine research institutions, they have to plan to go to their reef sites or their coral reef sites, and they only get a couple of weeks at a time there. Give us a sense of the lionfish population in the area, how you've been researching it, and what are the threats to the local marine life? Well, we're actually tackling the lionfish problem from several different angles. So we have um, ecologists looking at its impact on the natural fish communities. So the lionfish eat a lot of the um, native predatory fish um, when they're babies, when they're juveniles. So we're looking at their effect on the juvenile population. And then um, we have some students who look at the bacterial communities associated with lionfish. Um, and we're also looking at the fact that lionfish could um, have what's called ciguatera fish poisoning. So whether or not um, lionfish are actually safe to eat here in the Caribbean, if it's good for us to promote them as an edible fish here. We have students coming from the States, we have students coming from who grew up here locally, we have students from all over the Caribbean. So you have a huge array of perspectives from the different students. They love it because of the access to the ocean and because it's such a beautiful place, as well as you have state-of-the-art research facilities here and you have a great academic environment. So you get sort of the best of all worlds.